the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Hello and welcome back. Today is Sunday, May 8th, 2022, and this is the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast Update. The Abortion of Sports, Season 4, Episode 15. The SEC tried the same dirty tricks by attempting to force default that happened with Leon back 10 years ago. That was the point of final decision for me. This system is rotten to the core and run by dirty tricksters. Leon was strike one. Strike two is the SEC case filing in spite of our pending no action and many other elements such as contributing to the development of the law by commenting on court cases, etc., Strike three was the SEC trying to muzzle me again with a bogus default attempt, but in this case it failed. I'm done. Burn in hell, one and all, you will if you keep it up. Those of you who do these things, you will perish. I will no longer hail to this corrupt system. My allegiance is to one and one only. The God of Israel, cross him, and you will perish. Count on it. After watching the January 2021 coup attempt yet to be addressed by our so-called justice system, that ended all doubt for me. We are doomed if this continues. Absolutely and utterly doomed. Too many lies. Too much corruption. Cannot continue. Never has in the history of the world. Never will. No chance. I've come to a final decision on something mentioned more than a few times. Um, I just recently passed my eighth anniversary of uh, voluntary baptism, rebaptism, really, I was baptized as a Catholic as a child, uh, at the hand of my close uh, friend and counselor, Edwin. Uh, my first step was to cancel my voter registration. I will never vote again. This is the second step. I will never again voluntarily agree to appear before any court or agency or otherwise in any fashion. It will require handcuffs, and I may decide to stay silent even if that happens. Um, that's my constitutional right protects everything, including civil matters, administrative matters, etc. So I'll just sit there silently since nobody wants me to talk anyway. They seem to be frightened of me actually defending myself. You're going to get your wish. As far as I will go is signing documents I agree to. I have committed a vast stretch of my life to believing in the system, paying it in time and treasure, and encouraging others to do the same. For all my efforts, I will, I've received betrayal and loss. I'm categorically done. I'm perfectly able to run my life outside the controls of this evil mechanism, and I will do so. God has and will continue to provide for me. It is his promise, and he has been 100% faithful to it. Man and this system have been the exact opposite. I, I owe nobody anything but my vow to God, which I made and I am going to keep. This decision is final, and I will not be talked out of it. It has come after many years of observation, experience, and consideration. Whatever this does to the strategy on various matters, so be it. Work does continue on resolving the outstanding matters pursuable to these conditions that I published on April 27, 2022. The inescapable facts, regardless of the SEC or any other claim, is that the ASM restart in 2014 was experimental, and that was clearly stated. It's never been any other way. Built on a nonprofit and contributions were marked as donations. This was not a trick. It was not hidden. There were no promises of success or guarantees of it, which you can't do. Every statement I made regarding the happenings along the, light, along the way were 100% accurate when they were made. I never made any false claims. I never stretched anything. I never spun anything. Outcomes did not go the way I had hoped. In many cases, that's life and business. What I did promise to do was everything I possibly could to see the mission through as it was defined. I have done that for almost 20 years, and I continue to do it every single day without pay. In fact, I pay out money out of my pocket. My commitment comes to a complete and irreversible end no later than December 31st, 2023, which is a little over 18 months from now at the most. Uh, my statement concerning uh, how I'm going to conduct my life with regard to any legal processes is uh, in effect from this point forward. I'm not going to be bullied anymore. My good faith efforts to deal with them has resulted in bad faith actions from them. Those days are over. Do you have a valid arrest warrant? Let me see it. Otherwise, get lost. You have nothing I want and no power over me I don't hand you. Further, I am legally armed, constitutional right, so keep that in mind. I'm done with this foolishness. Done and done. 
Do you want the experiment of ASM to succeed? Then get off your butt, get on side, and help Alpert, Chad, Neil, Paul, and their team to do what is necessary. Otherwise, the experiment will fail. Either way, my life will go on. You can count on it, and history will record my name forevermore as the architect of this idea, and somebody else will come along and put it together and make it work. You can be sure of that, and they will be the ones that profit from it. This decision has been about 15 years in the making since the original SRI, which was undertaken as a safe alternative to ASM because of, yes, you guessed it, the 1961 Wire Act, which everyone pretends does not exist. Oh, but the Exchange Acts of the 1930s, they do exist. Sell that nonsense to someone else. This is not a reaction to any particular event or change in circumstances regarding the SEC or anything else. As I have been, I will continue to post updates that I get, as I get them. In spite of what some may think, I consider matters of significance over long periods of time. I am not impulsive on anything that matters. For example, it took about two years for me to decide to sell my home, which I poured the proceeds from into ASM, by the way, and move to California to accelerate the progress, which clearly happened. And anybody who says contrary is just living in darkness. The terms of service, we had nothing beforehand, and when I got there, we had product and we had press, and almost immediately, so that's the truth. Um, the terms of service are clearly stated and have not changed, and all users are agreeing to them by using the site, and making false reports to law enforcement agencies is a crime, by the way. Specifically, it says when you signed up and click the checkbox, which everybody has to do to create an account, by using this site and or app, users agree to this legal notice in our terms of service. Users must be 13 years old or older to create a learning account or 18 years or older to donate or transfer funds on the real money platform. Um, courts, uh, uh, courts are now regularly enforcing these clip, click wrap agreements. Um, that's This is just normal now, so says the American Bar Association. This is the policy of almost every app and website you use, including your banks. Every ASM sign-up clicked that box when they signed up, and we have your IP address when you did that. So to challenge this is legally invalid, and it's an attempt at some kind of tom tomfoolery with nefarious intentions. Um, DraftKings is uh, reaching new 50-tweet lows after low after low. I'll get to that again a bit more in a second. Repent or perish. You're going to be held accountable for every false claim that you make, whether you're hiding behind a fake name on the Internet or not, and every idle word, every one. And a few folks have learned that recently the hard way. I'm ready for judgment. Are you? You better think about it. And I said this about, what, a couple months ago? Something happened? All right, so there'll be no uh, charges for Trump in New York. This is further proof that the system is just a complete lie. It is just a lie. Every day we slip a little further towards anarchy and judgment. Elon plus Twitter equal who knows. I don't have an opinion on this at this point. It looks to me like maybe he wants to run for president. I mean, I don't know what all this is about, but it's interesting to watch it develop. A half-truth is a whole lie. Repeat. A half-truth is a whole lie. And by the way, omission is lying just as much as commission is lying. Anything that creates a false picture. So abortion. Um, I told Alper about a year ago this would happen um, after a very strange experience one night, which I will explain in a future podcast episode, uh, that Roe Wade would be overturned, probably the Mississippi case. So there you go. Um, yeah, Ashley, Ju um, Naomi Judd suicide. So one day before her Hall of Fame induction, this is just to show how incredibly uh, poor condition our society is in that someone who has all the money in the world um, doesn't um, doesn't make any difference, right? One day for, before Hall of Fame. By the way, I don't have this on the outline, but I just uh, spoke with Ace extensively this morning and uh, James Hong, who's uh, working uh, or is the one of the producers of the Patsy Lee movie, which is in the final stages now of um, of, of uh, release or putting it together for release. I just told me that this morning is probably about two, three months away. Um, he's being inducted into the or has a star on the on the Hollywood uh, Walk of Fame that that um, that ceremony is next week. So watch for that. 
uh, Ace and Zach will be there at that uh, star announcement. Um, May 3rd SEC update is posted there, just says uh, progress. You know, it's no different from the previous ones. I'm uh, not sure where I heard this. A good lawyer knows the law. A great lawyer knows the judge. How sadly true that is. Uh, banks are getting very flaky. Um, I won't go into the details here, but just be very careful. Spread your assets around. Some strange things going on, and they're not particular to me. Um, since the courts and their henchmen have opted to try and muzzle me over and again, they must feel, not feel very confident in their claims. Why fear what I have to say? Why even attempt to deny me my right to defend myself or even speak? When you got your law degree, did they teach you the Constitution or at least the basics? Yet you sign your name to such actions against me and I'm sure many, many others. You do know that your vow is before God, right? Not, not before man. You will not get away with it. Nobody gets away with anything in this world. The actions, the accounting for your actions will come at some point. You're just flesh and blood, nothing more. A pompous ass with a pen. That's it. Pride before a fall. Always. Well, you did accomplish something. You made it abundantly clear to me just how completely and utterly corrupt the system is. The swamp? Maybe so. I might owe Trump an apology on that point. You don't want to hear what I have to say? You want to tape my mouth shut? As I stated above, you will not compel me ever again to speak. God will judge your actions, and as it stands, you will face his wrath, not mine. Lord, help you if you don't repent. This is not hyperbole. I mean every word of it. Print this in the New York Times, if you wish. Proverbs 1.26, God will have the last laugh. So, looking at the DraftKings uh, quarterly non-earnings report for uh, Q1 2022, uh, looking through the news coverage is a mishmash of, um, of hype stories. Good luck trying to find the actual numbers. You have to go to the SEC filings to do that. There's nothing but forward-looking spin and hype. Somehow taking in $417 million and spending $467 million in three months is making progress. <laughs> okay. This is the busiest time of the year, the football end of football season, and they're still losing money at an astonishing rate. How do you spend $150 million a month? That's what they're doing, more than $150 million. That's uh, more than $5 million a day. Okay? Just think about that. Now, expenses are rising at a faster rate. This is important, okay, because this is the part they try to spend. They're trying to say, well, you know, this is all customer acquisition. Look at the top line. Here's the problem with that. If they were rising uniformly, which is still lousy because you're still losing more money than you're taking in, that would be one thing. But they're actually rising at a faster rate, okay, which means that add more customers means losing money faster, Look at the year over year, and you'll see that that's absolutely true. This is a criminal racket with no possibility of profit. And the Wire Act, I'm sorry, folks, that, that's really, I can't, I can't deal with a system that is just dishonest. To pretend like that anti-corruption statute is, is not there when it was actually restated two years ago is just so unbelievably dishonest that I can't, I will not be part of a system that is that corrupt. I will just wash my hands of it. God help you. And I mean it. You're going to need it. Okay? There's no possibility that this is going to be profitable. But Jason got that quarter billion plus for himself. So he got that bag. He got that bag. So uh, this business is on, the, on, a, on a quick route into bankruptcy. Uh, they're going to have to do another uh, capital round pretty soon. Uh, they're burning money at more than a billion dollars a year. Actually, uh, What's 467? Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. $2 billion a year. Almost $500 million a quarter. That's $2 billion a year, folks. But it was all, you know, it all went public on a SPAC, uh, you know, thanks to the SEC. That's perfectly fine, right? Don't need to do any due diligence. That's perfectly fine. You know, let them, let them just uh, make a shell company take, a company, take it public with a shell company. And that's totally fine. But then come along and try to create laws that don't exist around what we're doing uh, and pretend like we didn't file our no action and that's worthy of a lawsuit, right? Yeah, you want to know why you, I want you guys to go get stuffed. That's the reason. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. 
So another 52 week, yeah, and I also know why you don't want me talking in front of the court because you know as soon as I say that in front of a jury, you're done. Your case is over and I'll probably get damages as a result. Okay, you're not going to sell my peers. You're not going to sell a group of 12 people on what you've done to me and that's why you don't want me speaking. DraftKings, another 52 week low. Congratulations, guys, every day, almost every day, making new lows. Gambling is for losers. Everyone loses, including the house, it seems, which is kind of crazy. Time for something new. Time for something new. Okay, so um, all coronavirus EIDL funds have been exhausted as of Friday. So that's the end of that. Um, expect the economy to tick down even harder now. Like I said, as these programs um, run out, as they time out or they run out of money, you're going to see negative uh, numbers in the economy. Economy is going to go further down. So Supreme Court leak on uh, Roe versus Wade. I say, who cares? <laughs> you know, what's the problem with, uh, you know, I think this whole process should be done with the lights on. Um, I don't have a problem with things being disclosed. All this, it's funny how hypocritical people are about supposed doxing right now. They'll go around and they'll dig up everything they can find on you. And then if that isn't good enough, make things up, attribute things to you that are not even yours and whatever it takes to make their particular point and their, complete their lies. And somehow that's okay. But on the other hand, if you just so much as mention their name, then that's doxing, really. How do you uh, square that circle for me? Well, in the case of the Supreme Court, I don't think those deliberations should be private. I don't think they should be. I think you should do all that stuff in the bright light of day. Why hide anything, right? I mean, what's no, no good comes from hiding anything. There's never any justification. If you're hiding, there's a reason. There's a nefarious reason for it. Don't try to sell me on that. It there, it never squares. Okay. Sunshine is the best disinfected. Sunshine is the best disinfected. So anyway, Roe versus Wade is gone. Good riddance. It's murder. Should have never happened. I agree 1,000%. Um, and, you know, sports gambling will be the abortion of sports if this continues. Uh, it will be the wrong decision that will be discovered, um, hopefully not too distant in the future, that, oops, shouldn't have done that. Um, humanity learns absolutely nothing. The only thing we can learn from history is that humanity learns nothing from history. Nothing. Um, last week we submitted um, accounting summaries that were developed from the um, penny by penny records to the mediator and the SEC. For those of you who uh, just can't wait to get your hands on some nitty gritty stuff, and although I don't think there's more than about three of you, um, go for it you'll clearly see that in spite of all your lies and spin that uh, this was not a cash-making operation for me. And, and, you know, there's actually still some people out there that think that the only thing that money did was just go out of my pocket and uh, so I could, what, live in a bed rented bedroom? I mean, seriously? And have one car payment? Um, you got to have your head stuck pretty far up your butt to compete, complete uh, that thought process and and to think that that's actually the case in spite of all evidence to the contrary so whatever enjoy the darkness it's your soul to lose that's it for this week folks thank you for your time and attention i will speak with you again in two weeks bye now